man, the music's so good. Get close to everybody because they will be continuing with a game called The Cradle of Ruin. Where were we? Here. Oh, bunny. So now we know what to do now. Dun, dun. Uh -uh. Can you have a moment alone? Yeah, you can. Dun, dun. Now that we're done with that, do we need to talk to everybody? I'm so sleepy. Good night, Tara. I'm going to bed. Sleep, Tara. So bored. You're not going to stay up late with me. Can't help myself. I guess I'm going to read a picture book said good by Maggie, then sleep. Should I play tomorrow? What do you want to play? I've been playing the same things recently, and I'm a little bored of it. Daddy's cheek needs to run, and Mikoya would show a horrible face. It's all your fault. You said something the same as Maggie did. I was shocked. I didn't mean to give you troubles. I'm just trying to find something fun. Yo. You try your best struggling in this boring world. Alright. This is Maggie's arc is the most boring world. Dala. Boring world could only come to a dull ending. That's why I was trying to help it make it more interesting. So wrong boy with that face, do you have any complaints? Interesting. I didn't expect the boy to show me such a face. But how long will you stick onto it? After all, a boy is a boy, you can just stay over there. It's none of my business, even if you're at your bed today. Boy, why do you still live? In such a world that finally comes to an end. In this world that vanishes in the end, why are you still trying to struggle? The memories that you fought for and the memories that have been changed are all wasting your time. Everything will be buried in the dark, thousands of years later. What do you want by watching me? I don't know. Like, uh, see you in the underwear or something? <laughs> Hope for peace, not letting me kill anybody? Yeah. Is that what you really want? Do you really believe that's justice? For whom or why? Are you going to change the future for yourself? The issues that you think are good might not necessarily make everyone happy. How cruel it is. Wake up. These are all your self-satisfaction. Yeah, sure. Done talking with them. Should I go to bed today? Sure. Let's uh, meditate or something. What do I do before I sleep? About demonic. <laughs> it should be tonight. Mother would kill Demonica. Or Demonica would kill everyone else. Demonica said that she would wait. The only thing we could do is to believe her. If everything could go on well, hopefully the morning would come safely. Tomorrow would come safely. About tomorrow. Tomorrow, soon I might fall through the hole in the engine room and die. I need to find a way to distract her. Let her find something else to play with. Also, I need to find a way to reconcile Mikori and Mother. Because in this world, no one has died. The food and the departure from this facility, they should be able to communicate calmly. Just like Mikori said, they are able to understand each other. Uh, just like... Night. <laughs> Today, no tragedy will take place. No one has made any mistakes. I go to bed and wait for the morning. Hopefully tomorrow morning will come peacefully. Hopefully. Good night. Hopefully. So, uh, cool. What's next, Sharon? Come on. Come on. There you are. In the white box, why are you dancing? Because I'm a music box dancer? I don't know. Violating resisting its will. What are you hoping and looking for? Um, something to do? Don't drift with the river, but to go upstream instead. As long as you stop thinking, staring at the given gifts, or drift with the river, you can live easily. You will finally know one day, know what a mistake that decision was. And finally find out again, it is never a complete mistake. Okay. 
whatever you say. Three day. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on. Safe place. Yeah. Hey there. Taro, can I just ask you a question? Um, about yesterday. How am I gonna tell Maggie? Told you before I'm better talking to Maggie. I will make a window. Really? Yeah, I'm a carpenter now, I guess. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. I am counting on you, uh, sir, the math teacher. I'm the carpenter. You, you, <laughs> you will deal with measuring. I will deal with the construction shit. Damn it. So nervous. Is my psyche that weak? No, not true. It's not like that. My father won't train me for this kind of thing. Calm down. I can do this. Talk. Yes, it's just a talk. It's nothing. Nothing complicated. Taro, great job. Because of you, now I can't tell who is a friend and who is an enemy anymore. What? You want me to believe you? You must be kidding. Don't make noises. I'm thinking about something important. That's right. Even without others' help, I... Come on. Taro, what are you laughing at? Anyway, get lost. Wait. I'm counting on you. Right. Buddy, buddy. Love that little guy. Tara, good morning. Let's play. Wait after breakfast. Okay, I'll have to fill up our stomachs first. Is breakfast not ready yet? I'm so hungry. Telling you this, Mikori has been up late. Do you know that? She must be a bad girl. What an annoying girl. She doesn't help Maggie at all. Just do whatever she likes. What is she doing anyway? Fine, I'm not interested. Why wouldn't Maggie be mad about her? What about kicking on that lazy girl? Of course I will help if I grow up. I mean, really? Tara, have you seen a bird? Yes. It is said that it flies in a blue and white sky. What is it like to fly? Maggie said it feels like jumping up and not going down. Can I fly if I practice more? I hope that I can fly someday. You, we already tried to fly the previous route and that didn't go well. <laughs> it's rare Angelica got up later than me. Angelica usually gets up the earliest. Did you know that? She sleep late last night and couldn't wake up early today. Even if adults have such times. Yeah. Oh. No Angelica. Can't open. Hmm. Don't tell me. He's already not here. Mother's talking about alcohol so soon and I can't have any. I wish I could be a grown up sooner. That's alcohol. Kids can't have any. Remember what I told you? Wait, you're a robot though. You yes, what would happen? Perhaps feeling drunk? so-called drug is getting lightheaded. It's really a nice feeling. Very from each person. Some might not be able to walk in a straight line, I think. Some will get sleepy. You ask what it feels to not be able to walk straight? The Anyway, it's too dangerous for kids. Absolutely cannot drink. Absolutely. Make a pack with mama. Thing is, if you feel drugged, that makes you just really, 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 really sleepy. This is at the table. When I help, Tar is such a good boy. It's dangerous if the plates fell and broke, so just stay and wait. Thank you, Tyra. Mother's glad that you are trying to help. The meal is ready. Food would be on the table soon. They were having curry. Smells good, right? Uh oh. Curry. Is Demonica dead now? Tar today woke up by himself again. Great job, Tar is a big guy now. Tar growing up makes you feel like you are leaving a little bit lonely. We'll stay with mother forever, Otaro. Don't leave mother behind. Morning, Otaro. Body's in good shape, great mood, what a wonderful morning. Data's yeah, put in hard work too. This could last forever. No, it will last. We can live here together, happily. In this paradise, forever. Breakfast is ready, can you get everyone around? Yeah. Praise the Monica. <sighs> Or are we too late? Uh oh, no demonica. Where's Angelica? 
I don't know what's wrong with her, but she's been in her room since morning. Oh. Does she feel uncomfortable? What? Angelica's ill? I tried to talk to her, but no one responded. Mikori, do you know anything? I'm not sure. What happened? That's odd. I'll bring the food and check on her later. Uh oh. What? Mikori, staring at me like that. Do you have something to say? Don't overthink it. Just say it. Things to say? Yes, I do have. No, I mean, while well, I. No, never mind. Well, thanks for the food. Dude, that was your window. Of opportunity. Why'd you run? Damn it. Don't run after eating. And Mikori's weird. What is wrong with her? It's not the first day to see Mikori being weird. Even though it's a bit rare, I've never seen her so chaotic. Tara, do you know anything? She said she's a little care about her mother. What? Is it because she likes mother? Eh? Is that it? Well, lovely Mikori, she could just say it. So is soon I care a lot about Maggie too, and I like Maggie the most. Really? Thank you, but what a shame, I already knew that. <laughs> I reject your... <laughs> I reject your love because I already know it already. Eh? Maggie's so amazing. How could you know? How exactly? I, good, I, I have a conversation here. <laughs> yes. Dude, what the hell, dude? What the hell just happened? Hey, hey, Maggie, about this facility. Oh, so you're practicing now. Are we going out, all of us together? It's been years since we first got here. No matter food supplies or energy are all limited. So are you... Do you understand? This is where Tokyo comes in. As soon as we get to Tokyo, we can get our hands on whatever we need. Outside this facility, I'm afraid. If it were truly like what the Great Prophecy described, it's probably a snow that never ends outside. Silver Road cannot be crossed by normal transports. It's gonna be an extremely cruel and difficult journey. No one can survive on their own, but five of us together, there might be a way. Right, Maggie? How is it? This, this is a drill of conversation with Maggie. Yeah, good. At this moment, we are the livestocks. What? What good would that be for anyone exactly? What would it be? Reasons behind this might never be known. Anyone, please tell me the truth. Why am I here? This is so not Angelica. You feel it, right, Taro? She is not the type who would harm her body. I can relate. After all, we've known each other for years. Something might have happened or something she can't talk about even to me. I recognize that compared to Maggie, I am closer to her. She is the only one I can be completely open to and talk to. Hey, why are you so smiling, Hotaro? Don't tell anyone. If taking everyone out here is only for self-satisfaction, then the idea of bringing us out perhaps is throwing gas on fire. Not all of us long for the truth. Should I stay here or... Nothing. I'm just mumbling. It's nothing. So, she's conflicted. Tara, are you free? If you can, can you look for it with me? What to look for? The recipe for chiffon cake. Soon and your dessert are counting on it. Tell me if you find it, please. Okay. Ah, the dust is annoying. I clean it up every day. Cannot handle all the housework and cleaning. I'm in trouble. If Mikori could help a little, that would be great. Tara, you will distract me. Go play with Suna. I am busy looking for something. Sorry. I'll play with you later. Be a good boy, okay? Hmm, the recipe for chiffon cake is... Where did I put it? I remember that it should be here. Hmm. Plant said produce oxygen makes air taste good. Air could be tasty or not. I don't think air has taste at all. Uh, most oxygen does not come from plants. It comes from the sea. Little bunny buddy. What happened to Angelica? It's right that she says in her room. Yeah, why is that? She didn't even eat. She must be hungry. Well, I can't figure it out. 
Uh, however, I don't think about those complicated things. Maggie told me so. We'll just leave it all to Maggie. Rice, carrot, eggplant, cabbage. What about that? Am I great? I remembered many names of vegetables. I'll not lose to you. I wish I could help Maggie as soon as possible. Maggie seems to be busy today as usual. Can she play with me? I'm tired of playing with Taro. God damn it. You're just joking. Don't show me that face. Well, sometimes I think it would be better if you are a girl. Because then we could play dolls and play house together. Huh? You can play that with me? Really? Wow, you said it. You must play with me. Okay. About my dream? I want to be beautiful, cute, smart, and cool, just like Megan and Angelica. Well, and also, well... Anyways, I want to be a cute and cool bride. Can I do it? As long as I try my best, I can do it, right? Right, Tataro? Yeah, sure. Did I talk to you directly already? Alright. Yeah. Then we talk to her. Next up is Angelica. Open up. Can't open. There she is. Not Angelica, but it's someone else. Yo. So you're gonna pry it open? Charo. Yep. How is Angelica? I don't know. That's just a door in front of me. Can't tell. Come yeah, on. It is locked from the inside. Hey Angelica, are you okay? It's still quiet here. Yeah, is she still asleep? Let's wait and see. I'm so worried about her. If she could come out soon. Come yeah, on. <laughs> Will it finally open now? Why are you so worried? I'm okay. I believe that I've already said I will do nothing. I'm looking forward to the world that you create. Okay. Can't open. <laughs> yep. Uh, where is everybody else? Oh, it's Suda. Listen to me, Ataro. Big news. Soon I'll find a key to the engine room. Now we can get down there. What is it like in there? I have a better idea. Eh? Let's go to the engine room. We have the key. Let's do something more interesting. Fine, I won't. I will sneak the key back to Maggie later. Ladder. <laughs> then what? What's more fun than the engine's room? Engine room. You can't bluff me. You need to make Suna satisfied, Ataro. Make a present for mother. What's that? Sounds fun. Soon a vote, yes. Make Maggie who's been working so hard happy. I would never think about this. Tara is a true genius. Then we will meet up at the library. What present shouldn't we make? What does Maggie like? So exciting, right, Tara? Soon as curiosity has reached its peak. Let's go, hurry. Tara, are you ready? Soon the captain is ready. Now enter the library. Don't let Megan and others catch us. I'll leave it to you. Come on, Hachara, what's the snack for today? Don't you know? Then we'll soon make an exception and tell you. Just then Maggie told me she's making chiffon cake. So excited it'll be done when we get the present ready. Okay. Then we'll meet up at the library. Oops. Hachara, what is it? You hardly ever come to your arm room. Mikori has something to say to you. Wait, Mikori? What does she want? Thank you for notifying me, Otaro. Yo. Mikori, do you need something? Otaro said you were looking for me. What are you talking about? Is there a misunderstanding? Seriously, Otaro, he lied to me. Hey, wait. Since you're here, come, let's talk. Yeah, there is something I want to say. Mikori wants to talk to me. What are the odds? What's the matter? I know, did you find my recipe for the chiffon cakes? Or did I lend it to Mikori? I was just about to use it. Give it to me. No, Maggie. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you for quite a while. You and I, two of us. Yeah, with me? 
it's about this facility. Do you need something to touch that you were looking for me? What I took? Oh, same thing. Come on, dude. We are determined to change the uh, this world or whatever. Here we are. Finally, you are here. I've been waiting for you. Take a seat, then. Where should I place it? Come on. What should we do next? What will make Maggie happy? Draw a portrait. Draw a picture of everyone. Yes, I agree. Let's do it. Begin. Come on, Ataro. Ataro. Jerka still hasn't come out of her room. Is she okay? Did she eat something bad? She says she's fine. Well, then it's through this overthinking. Great. I felt that I was in another dream, so I was a bit scared. Right, let's draw one for Angelica. Have you ever had nightmares? I have. Suna sometimes has horrible dreams. No, are they really dreams? I feel it's so realistic. Just like it's gonna pop out of my head at any time. Unbelievable, right? But it's so real. Someday, Maggie suddenly disappeared. Angelica became material for Curry. <laughs> Mikuri lost her feet. Then Atar just left me here and went somewhere really far. So weird. All this is not possible. Bow. Dot, dot, dot. Now everyone's laughing peacefully. I think this time is very, very precious. Mikuri's. Better draw Mikuri's one too. She would get sand if she got excluded. Uh, I already drew one for Mikuri before, so I don't need to draw again, right? Wait, did I ever draw one for Mikuri? Oh, so she kind of remembers. Strange, Suna hated Mikuri. Why? Hotaro, is Mikuri really an awful guy? I don't know why, but I feel that one day Mikuri will protect me. Might be true. Huh, told you Mikuri is a good guy. Let's make Mikuri a gift. Eh, ended up drawing for everyone. Never mind, Suna likes everyone. Cute. I'm a back. Then let's see her go. Well, let's uh, let's see their them uh, something. Engine room. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Enough talk. Ah, Suna disappeared. There she is. Oh, hey, why suddenly got her to the room? Wait, two of you? I'm discussing something you parted with Mikori. Maggie, look, Suna and Atara drew this. This is our present to Maggie. Ah, uh, this is for me? Thank you. Aww. Thank you for everything. This is our appreciation to Maggie for always making an effort. Here, Mikori, this is for you. For me? You sure? Yeah, I am sure. Mikori got a present too. Then thank you, Suna Hotaro. Are you blushing, Mikori? You're cute in your own way. Eh? Are you blushing, Mikori? You are really happy? No, not true. Not true at all. No. <laughs> Great, Suna was worried to get rejected by Mikuri. Oh, hey, stop making fun of me. You are so shy. <laughs> Even Hotaro, you guys. Mikuri's been fun lately. I like it. You don't need to hold it in. Just let it out and laugh. I'm not holding it in. When she hangs up with Suna, Mikuri will definitely laugh non-stop. Sounds good. If Mikori and Suna can hang out, we'll lift quite some weight off my shoulders. Wait, I didn't say yes. Okay, so Angelica's like, oh well. I wonder what's next. Yeah. Hello, buddy, buddy. Nurture room. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Welcome to my little wonderland, Ataro. This is a place where blue star flowers blossom and a place to face our own heart. Isn't it beautiful? The plants are shining under the night light. I always come here and think by myself and I feel troubled or sad. There is no one here. It is quiet. So I can calm down and face my own heart. Tar, do you like it here? No, do you like the facility? I've already known that, right? Here is underground and underground is snowing. I've talked with Mikori. I've heard everything from her. The peace here in this facility, it isn't unlimited. If we go to Tokyo, then we might survive. That's what she said. Do you want to go outside? Do you think that way as well? If you survive going outside, there's only dead end if you stay here. Well, you really are a smart boy. When I do think about it, you've learned everything. And think, act, become stronger by yourself. You seem to become another person that I don't know. I will always stay with you. Think of it, Taro. I am satisfied that you have such an idea. I want to talk with everyone tomorrow about leaving here and going to Tokyo. For you and Suna and our future. Oh, we have to prepare a lot. There is a limit to how much things we can take with us. We can never come back here again. We have to say goodbye to the memories here. This is not good. It becomes more lonely when I say it. Can I sleep with you as a son? Well, well, don't act like a kid. Are you trying to cheer me up? Don't worry. We are mother and son, aren't we? It's time for bed. Why don't you brush your teeth and go to sleep? What? Why are you smiling there? Should I talk to Angelica? Uh, with mother, you can only choose one person to talk with. Oh, shit. I should probably save first before I make a decision. Important decision like this. Uh, put it here. 20. So if I go through here, then is it possible that Oh, okay. So Mikori is here too. Hmm, interesting. Hataro, thank you. Did you make it for us? Thank you. Everything is going well. Finally, I had a conversation with Maggie. In order to leave this facility, we have to talk to everyone tomorrow. You did a great job. Thank you, Hataro. And about those drawings. I am very happy it's my first time to get something like that. No, not the first time. She remembers. Okay, my bad. Never mind. Tara, I feel that you started to act like a man days ago. Did anything happen to make you change like this? Perhaps the reoccurring nightmares that feel real and I feel it in my dreams. You don't have to say it if you don't want to, but don't push yourself too hard. You are not alone. You don't have to manage everything by yourself. If you need any help, just go to someone. She must be helpful. At least I'm on your side, Ataro. Cruel things will happen after this. The world outside is dangerous. Anyone might get lost. Now might be the only time I can self protect you. Grow, Ataro. Be strong and protect yourself and others. I promise you. Sure, if something happens to me, you have to take over. If I spoke to you, must go to bed. Otherwise, it will affect tomorrow. Affect, not affect. So I have to save first, uh, then talk to either Maggie or Mikore. Yeah. What about Sun and the others? She's not here. Ooh, weird. Oh, there's another decision making too. choose one person to talk to what if I just ignore both of them and just slept I did I did I do have a save so maybe that's possible yeah wait let me just do this oh I oh I see I can't just sleep it off Oh well, how about we go uh, talk to our mother first and say yes. It's called Blue Star. Should I talk to Angelica? Yeah. 
What did you say? Tara, whatever you said, isn't that too unbelievable? You can't lie to me just because you're a little smarter. It wasn't a lie. I could tell from your serious face. But is it real? Angelica has been possessed by a demon? I see. I will figure out what to do. It's okay, Angelica is my best friend. There must be a way. Leave it to me. Who do you think I am? I am your mother. Then if you are too loud, you might wake up sooner. I will go to your room. Just wait for me. Okay. So this is the part where we uh, don't overwrite save 20. Okay. So I don't think we can talk to Mikori anymore. I spoke too much. Go to bed or it will affect tomorrow. Yeah. Next time we're probably gonna talk to Mikori instead. Hey there. Taro, today is a great success. Megan and Mikori are sure happy. It was great that I chose Taro's ID and didn't go to the engine room. Thank you, Taro. You are welcome. Hey, hey, Taro is quite good sometimes. Right, don't forget to send Angelica hers as well. Why am I here, you ask? Why bother to ask? Guess you cannot fall asleep, so I came here to accompany you. Am I gentle? Did you fall in love with me? Well, it's not like I can't marry you. Actually, I'm just too scared to sleep alone. I want you to sleep with me. Will I have weird dreams again? It should be fine, right, Otaro? No worries. Right, I think so. But if I still can't sleep, can I come to your room again? I can't say no to you. Even though I did say no before about going to the engine room. Really? Thank you. Then see you tomorrow. I will try to sleep. Uh, didn't Maggie... Was it Maggie supposed to come here? I thought she was... I thought she was gonna go to our room. Maggie, excuse me. Are you gonna come to my room or something? I'll go to your room. Just wait for me. Yeah. I'm still waiting. I'm okay, I can sleep on my own. Alright. So I just get to meditate or something? Sure. I wonder what happened. Meditate. About Angelica. I asked mother to keep an eye on Angelica. It's okay, it would work out, definitely. But if Demonica attacks, <laughs> what should I do? To prevent such a thing from happening, I have to fight for it. Meditate. Time limit. Time is running out. The time limit is coming. The fourth day is coming. I will not let anyone die or be killed. Never. Time of peace is to an end. It is time to confront that demon. How could I stop her? I racked my brain, thinking of different ways, but I couldn't come up with a solution by myself. And I just sleep it off. Good night. Even though we're in trouble, we are gonna die, but oh well. Dot, dot, dot. Row. Charo. Yep. Is it. Did a mother come here in our room? Or. Someone. Oh, there you are. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Did you sleep? Yeah. Alright, let's go to Angelica's room. What, what are we gonna do there? That's just weird, dude. Little bunny buddy. I love that little guy. Are you ready? Yeah. It is locked, but there's no problem. Don't worry about it. I always carry the backup keys. There. Oh, what, ha what happened here? Angelica? What the hell happened here? Are you okay? Stay with me. She's just sleeping. It's great that she's okay. What happened? What? What is that huge rock? I think that's the ice block of the soul. What was it called again? I feel like I've seen this before. Right, Angelica talked about it. Is that the thing shows up after one's heart is frozen? Let's get inside and find out. Okay. Why are these things shining? You see she is falling asleep. Some novel dictionaries of the shelf. Why are the why are these things shining? And I can't I can't uh, interact with those shiny things. This is the ice buck of Angelica's soul. You wanna go inside? Yeah. Go and see. Let's go, Taro. Don't forget to stretch, boys. Yeah, I'm waiting for us to go. Da da da. Who's that? Who is speaking into my heart? Invaders. No, don't come into my heart. Why not? 
Haha, <laughs> you can't stop me. Okay. The girl's name is Angelica. Introverted and honest, she wasn't lonely at first. She got a twin sister whose name was Demonica. What? Twin sister? Demonica was nowhere near Angelica. She was a lively and strong girl. Two of them were always together. They were sisters who shared joy and sorrow. The parents hated the two like that. Once one of them caused a problem, both of them would be thrown into the woods. At such times, the two would wander through the woods looking for their way home. Oh, just like Hansel and Gretel? When they got back home, they knocked on the door many times asking for parents' forgiveness. The weak and poor twin sisters, the town is full of rumors about the twins. Everyone was saying the cursed twins. And those who pitied them called them the poor twins. The weather that day was bad. It looked as if it would rain soon. The two of them were thrown into the woods again. You'd think they'd be used to it by now, like, okay, I know the path now. <laughs> Well, I am saying this. How long are you going to stay angry? Did someone really actually name their child Demonica? <laughs> what is that? What does that mean in Japanese? Maybe it makes sense in Japanese, like a pun or something. But this is just. Wow. Hey, are you listening, Angel? Da da da. Come on, make up already. I've said that I'm sorry so many times. Why don't you reply to me? Because we've been thrown in the woods many times now. <laughs> Demo, you, you talked back too much to mother. We are going to get lost in the woods again. It is not only your business, I will be punished along with you. I don't have a choice, it is joint liability. Be what the fuck? We're talking business now because we are twins. That's not how it works. I didn't do anything wrong, it's all that old woman's fault for beating you. I can't just stand there and do nothing if such a thing happens, right? Even like this, you have to learn to bear with them. How many times do you think this has happened? How how can you not <laughs> get used to getting into the woods and like, oh, just follow the path here? It is a miracle that we went home safely. We may die in the woods anytime, don't you know that? I know, I will listen to you. I will do it better next time. So please forgive me, Angel. Okay. I don't want to walk anymore. Okay. Angel, why don't we just not go back? Let's live together, two of us. That will be happier. That old man and old woman must feel the same way. What are you talking about, Demo? That is not possible. We don't have money. We can't earn money. How do we live by ourselves? In that home, if we bear, we can get food at least and a place for sleep. There is always a way, as long as we are together. I don't think so. So which one is it? Well, talk about perfect timing. <laughs> Ah. The snow, yep, that is the snow. Angel, do you know that? It is said that the end of the world is coming. Through snowstorm. The story that Hokkaido will be buried by snow and then destructed, what? Destroyed. That is not a story. Hokkaido will definitely be ruined. Demo, do you have any evidence to say such things? No, I just want it to be destroyed. That is my wish. Why? Because the people of Hokkaido did something bad to you? Because you're Hokkaidians? <laughs> because, is it because your parents are from Hokkaido? I wish this world can be destroyed. Why? Just because you're miserable, that doesn't give you the right to make everybody else miserable. I don't need this world that tortures Angel and me. Then go away. <laughs> Looks like an eternal hell here. There's only desperation and no way to, nowhere to run. Every day is just passing. Life is all about making choices. Which one of them did I make a mistake? Is it a mistake to be born? If that's so, then I probably lose the right of choice when I was born. This world is unreasonable. It even makes people want to escape and shout. I am tired of it. Must be the same for Demo. 
That's why. That's why. She left me and went on the journey by herself. Okay. Is that our house? Wow, that's a big ass fucking house. I walked alone and went back home by myself. My parents never asked why Demo was not with me. Oh. They probably weren't interested. That made me angry. Grr. Are we gonna do something about it? Nope, of course not. Mm -hmm. Finally, the rumors spread through the town that Hokkaido will be covered by the eternal heavy snow. What Demo said is becoming the truth. My parents and I decided to go to a facility owned by a man. Oh, that uncle guy. That does not have any but a hell of sex. <laughs> Those who resisted were killed. Both my parents were shot to death. Looking at their blank eyes, I felt nothing. I didn't take revenge for a demo, I just felt pity for that. The children of the facility started a rebellion. All the men were dead. The kids left work with each other and swore to live together. What happened to the others? That was the first time I got freedom. And... Cool. Though it is a closed space, I'm still satisfied with this free life. I am not alone. She is pretty though. You look happy. What the fuck? Come on. <laughs> so somehow they combined uh, share one body now because the Monica disappeared. What happened to you, the Monica? You are so heartless that you could be so happy without me, Angel. We are meant to be unique to each other, twin sister. Demo, is that Demonica? Or is that just her psy psyche f messing up, fucking up, or something? Come to me, Angel. It is happy to stay with me. No, I can't, because I've decided to work with everyone and build paradise together. Paradise? Can a child really build something like that? Yeah. You once discussed it with change and refused to pursue freedom. Ooh, freedom, something, something. I thought you said that you have no strength and gave up. Angel, come with me. I will show you something more interesting. Then you can find what you've been looking for. Let's make this world super amusing, Angelica. Uh huh. How did they. How did Demonica awaken inside Angel Angelica's body? Hey, how do you feel now? I really hope you can tell me. Here we are again. Couldn't even speak. What a poor girl. You are such a bad boy. <laughs> you chose to let this cute girl to experience such terrible things. This is cruel. This is CNN. I'm not doing anything. Then I have to let Cinder pay for all the rude things that she had said. To clean this body with this rotten mind. <laughs> Oh, uh, again? You gonna reuse this scene? No. It's a yes, I guess. There we go. But with flower borders now. <laughs> no. But hey, look at the flower borders. That's different. <laughs> Same old death, different flower borders. So, uh, yeah. Wow, what a bad smell. The blood smells terrible. To turn over our little girl's intestines. This is not what a normal person would do. Then why'd you do it? Because you're not normal? I'm going to kill you. Wow, horrible. That's impressive. But unfortunately, you will do nothing and die. Such a gentle person like you compared to be hurt. It is worse to see your precious person getting hurt. Well, I'm going to make you happy. My dearest Mikuri. Damn. Stop it. Did I choose the wrong route again? Really, the destiny of Miss Vicori is going to be decided by this little young boy. Don't you feel it's unfair? What do you feel now? I hope you can tell me. Can I tell? A clever choice, Taro. I've always believed that you're going to choose me. Oh, so we're reliving the previous choices. That's good, it's not your fault. You did it right. Mm 
I'm going to let Miss McCory lose her legs. Someday we'll leave this place and go outside. You seem to have such boring fantasies all the time. I'd have to let you can't leave anymore. What about that? Isn't that wonderful? No, it's not. Because this would be a great inconvenience if I don't have any feet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. My, le my feet's about to get amputated. Fuck. Look at my face. <laughs> Three. This is the longest countdown ever. <laughs> Tara, you must live. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to. Two. I will, don't worry. No matter what happens, don't regret. You're right, you did nothing wrong. Yeah. One. Okay. Even if I can't say you must live, stay strong, never look back. How do you even set up that guillotine? Oh. So I guess we should cancel our ice skating reservation tomorrow. <laughs> ah. No. Oh my god, even your eyes got removed from due to intense pain and shit. Ah. Your eyes retracted. Oh, there we go. It's, it's brought back to normal. That's gotta hurt. Yeah. Cool. So I guess it's the part where we get saved or something. And Mikuri never moved again. What about adding an aside like this? It's a great idea, right? What? I don't get it. Mikuri has... Yep. What an enjoyable show, don't you think that? It is too enjoyable that I feel I'm about to throw up. That's just the disgusting blood or shit. You're not used to that thing. Don't let me see it anymore. I'm still seeing it. I'm still seeing it. Oh, there you are. It's still wet here. It feels like I could get sick if I stay longer. Yeah, the food is ready. Let's go back. While well, Chara is waiting, don't make them worry too much. What's wrong, Angelica? Here we go. This is Sparta. Really? You can leave now. This world will be under my control. A Angelica? I will do well. You don't need to worry. Just leave forever under the ground. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna kick us. Don't do that to Maggie. Kick, kick him. Kick him. Kick him. Oh, okay. Wait, what, what? Why, Angelica? Why did you do that? Wait, so she was the one who killed the others? You're not the kind of girl who would do such things. Didn't we agree to build paradise together? Wait, what? Maggie, you're such a stupid woman. It's obvious that if you didn't hesitate to kill me, it will not become like this. Did you lie to me, Angelica? Angel, I've never seen such a thing before. That is only what we can be seen here. The outside world is too narrow. There's nothing that I'm looking for. But here, here's has what? But here, here has everything I want. No matter what I do or what I want, I will not be blamed by anyone. Tell that to the fans, the wiki uh, writers. Stop it. I don't hope for this. So there was a route where Angelica and Maggie were the only ones and she killed us. Demo is dead, I know that. But somewhere deep in my heart, I have a sense of inferiority feeling for Demo. Leaving Demo alone and trying to be happy by myself, she won't forgive me for this. Oh, yeah. So it was her all along. There is no Demonica. It's just Angelica being fucked up in the head because she missed her twin sister. I get it. I will forgive you. Why? She fucking killed people. Let me forgive you. Behind bars. <laughs> For what you have done and what you are going to do. Why? I will stay with you by your side so you won't make any mistakes. I will be with you. Hold your hands. Oh. But I've done many cruel things to everyone. I don't have the right to stay with you. Do you still remember the day we wished together? Nope. Day we decided to build this paradise and protect everyone. Well, good job at protecting. <laughs> I don't think you are lying all the time. Let's go together again. It's okay, you have me. 
But if I am deluded by this demon again, stop blaming the demon shit and... Or maybe it is a demon, I don't know. Isn't it just because she's mentally damaged or traumatized or something? I might hurt everyone or even kill everyone. Can't kill everyone if you guys are too busy trying to deal with the snowstorm. Just saying. <laughs> Jellica, you can also be happy. If you wish for it, then the paradise is right here with me and everyone else. Let's live together. Maggie. Uh, breaking news, fellas. This just in. Communication resolves conflict. Wow, who would have thought? <laughs> okay. Cool. So we did it. Wait, what? Okay. Demo. I finally found you. It was all your fault for running away. I've been looking for you, Demo. Demon. Da da da. Demo, what happened? Why did you come to this place? That is dangerous over there. Come to me. I knew it. I knew it. It's gonna be traumatized. No. Why not? Stop being such a baby. Demo. Come on. If you come any closer, I'm going to jump. I'm serious. Jump up and down. Don't jump off the cliff. Why? Oh, why would you do this to yourself? Demo, no. Don't do stupid things. I knew it. It's because she witnessed her twin sister dying or something that traumatized her deep inside, yada yada. It's okay. I don't miss anything. Here is such a boring world. What are you talking about? It will disappear sooner or later. The evidence we exist, the things we left will all disappear. That is true. Our existence doesn't have any meaning, Angel. We can't leave anything in this world. You actually think so too, right? Living yet so miserable? You are tired already, aren't you? There's no... There's no what? Angel, why are you still alive? Good question. That's because... Can't answer that. Okay. I was not able to answer that question. What do people live for? To find the so-called purpose in life even though there is no such thing. I may have been looking for the answer to this question. Okay. What would happen if it was Bikuri? Let's go. Let's check that out. Welcome back, Angelica. A beam of light shone in the darkness. The nightmares, the dark underground path has ended. No one will die anymore. Finally, we're able to welcome a fresh new morning. I'm a back. Ah, there we go. Don't forget to stretch. I'm a back. Hooray, no one's dead. Now what? Dun, 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 dun. In the white cradle, you woke up. What waits for you who knows nothing is only desperation. The precious people will be missing, and the tragedy will play. A future that everyone wants to run away from. Life is all about making choices. Remember the fact that everything can't go back, even though I do go back multiple times. You finally deviated from the path and tried to build a new world. With hope in your heart and the will to fight against the world, Contrary to fear, the world unexpectedly changes its stance. In the future that you hope for, you will know. What is waiting for you in front of the pursuit of happiness? Music is fucking A tier. Oh, for a day. Come on, Jaren. Here it is. Can I save first, though? Yeah, save here. Yeah, I think I've been going on for too long, so yeah, I, I think I have to edit here. Gotta prepare for work and stuff. So yeah, this is Cradle Brew with Route C. 
Oh yeah, we're all gonna get out of here alive, fellas. If you want to try the game for yourself, the links are in the description. That is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.